Gonzalo, we see oh. on the head. Oh. What a goal! The cross for Duca's header. Two two. Two for Viduca. Turns. Must get the shot in. Viduka chests it down. Wilkshire arriving. Viduka turns. Beautifully done by Mark Viduka. He scores for Australia. Standing ovation since as is beige. Wow, that's <laughs> amazing. Since where do, where, look, where do I start introducing our next guest? He, mm. Like to me, like uh, one of the greats. Well, uh, you could start at any I time. Start at any time. <laughs> 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 but I'm what, about, what about with his name? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> He's played for Newcastle. Yes. Middlesbrough, Leeds, yes. Celtic. He played with Dinamo Zagreb where he scored 86 goals in 84 starts. Hello. He holds the record for most goals scored by an Aussie in the European Champions League, 43 appearances for the Socceroos, and he captained the green and gold at the 2006 World Cup where oh. we got to the final 16. Cool. Please, please welcome Mark Viduka. <laughs> You love, you're a great friend of the show. You've always supported the show. But can I say, you are such a mystery man. You're like the yeah. Scarlet Pimpernel. Yeah. They seek him here, they seek him there. Where, we don't even know. Do you live in Croatia at the moment? Do you live in England? Where do you live? Well, to be honest, I don't know myself where I live. <laughs> oh. So that's... Yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a bit everywhere. You know? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Things. What do you do? <laughs> Lots of things. Ah. <laughs> Scarlet Pimpernel. Okay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but you know, you guys have known each other a long, a, a very, a long time. We've known each other a long time. We, we, well, we, we, God, geez, we got to know each other uh, a very long time ago. In fact, is there a picture of us two together? At uh, that's. Uh, where's the, Where's this? This is it. Dancing was, with the Stars. Season, <laughs> season, season three or four. That was right? about ten kilos lighter there. Yeah, and Santo as well. And I, we had different colour hair at the time. Yeah. <laughs> Now, is that 06? So that was in that was in two that in fact that was at the that was at the uh, at the Croatia Australia Croatia game where you had just captained Australia into the final 16 and I've told the story many times it's just everyone was waiting to interview you right and you were about to walk into a room where there was uh, you know the oh, world's <laughs> media was, oh, yeah. the world's media there and you turned around to me and you go mate do you have any late show tapes <laughs> <laughs> He said, do you have any Rachel tapes? And I, 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 was, I was in tears, right? I was, I was still crying at the time. I'm going, what are you talking about? He goes, mate, we're going crazy in camp. Do you have a Late Show tape? I really need to show the guys. Um, and uh, I haven't... That was almost... Ten, it's ten years in the in the waiting. But Did you never... Oh, wow, I think he... Here it oh, is. Oh. Signed, Tyler. Oh. That is a Late Show, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Very Late Show. <laughs> Now tell me, what, what, was, what, what was it like? What was it like in 2006, uh, in those amazing heady days? I mean, we talk about the golden generation of guys. What was it like to play in that team? What was it like to get in the final 16? I mean, as you know, the whole story, be, be, you know, from. Uh... Yes, I've got to stop you. That chair. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 no. no. It, it's been here since 1941. So you just, we can't, we're not allowed to swivel, otherwise no, they'll not. collapse. Sorry, yeah, I interrupted. After the whole, you know, qualifying thing, we, we'd been together for a long time, you know, from the 98 qualifications, mm. then the 2002, yep. and then. Uh, so we were a bunch of mates, really, mm. and uh, to qualify with, uh, with that bunch of guys was, it was just something special, mm. you know. Yeah. A lot of us. Like, we lived together for a long time. For example, John Aloisi, Josip Skoko, we all went to, to the AOS. Yeah, Craig nice. Moore, yeah, we lived... Teenagers, yeah. you know, in fact, I met you and Josip for the first time in 2000 at the Olympics. That's right. At the Olympics. And, um, wow. But the thing is that uh, in, in that World Cup, we forget that in 2001 we came very close to qualifying. Uh, uh, Kevin Musker is about to come on later. He put us one goal ahead in the home, in the home leg. We were only 1-0 down at, um, in, in Montevideo. Montevideo. Yeah. All we needed was one goal to get away on the, uh, in the away rules. They scored a couple late, but we were, we were in it right up to our ears, right up until the very end. That's right. Yeah, it was close. I mean, that, I think, to be honest, that with that one, I think they deserve to get get, get through. You don't have to say the, that. The, the, <laughs> the Iran one, the Iran one was a, was a sad one for us because you know we were, we were so close, and uh, it was one of those things where you know 
what happened distracted everybody and yeah. and it sort of cooled everything down and, and they took advantage of it. Mm. I've got a theory about that though. The fact that we went through the pain in 1997 maybe made the 2006 so much more, not, not only more enjoyable, but we realised how... Imp how uh, more determined, I think. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And it's, it's a precarious thing, yeah. yeah. Well, Mark. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's the hatchet man, Mark. You've got to watch this bloke. He's going to ask any questions for me. <laughs> we'll wait and see now. Yeah. Oh, I to, you mentioned how you went to the AIS uh, together with you know, all those guys. In 2001... <laughs> yeah, all those yeah, guys. All those guys. I can't, I can't remember everything you said, mate, all right? <laughs> the Australian Institute of Sport, in 2001, you won the best of the best. What is that? <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> I, didn't think, I didn't think you would. That's a, it was a, a very proud award. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, walked, you finished your playing career and you just... That was, yeah. you know, you were just happy. You went away very quietly. You didn't make a, you know, big song and dance. And yeah. did you get those, you know, these, these offers now where players, like we've got Del Piero playing in India at the age of 50 yeah. and we've got Trezeguet over there and David James and these guys and, and people going to the Middle East and America and stuff like that. Did you get those offers to say, hey, can you come and do a, a couple of years, as basically a, a tour uh, with a bit of cash involved? Did you get that? I did, yeah. I did. I got a few. That? Yeah, I got a good, good, like a big offer here to play a few games, but... You had enough? I decided I had enough, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was amazing. And did you have an idea of like, all right, I've had enough because I want to do this? Or are you just like, no, nah, you know what? I've had fun. I've done this for a lot of my life and I'm ready for something else. Well, I dedicated my whole life to it, you know. A lot of people out there, uh, you know, judging by the way that I played football, they thought I didn't care much. That's not true. Well, no. no. Well, not I've here. had a lot of stick along, uh, you know, around the world, different clubs and hey, stuff. Hey, I'm like. Sicilian. Who are they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sicilian and he's in a triad. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm Croatian. So. <laughs> and, and the good news is, I'm a part of ISIS. So, yeah. <laughs> I've got an all-covered here. All yeah, all yeah, all okay. yeah, so really? you, did you have... very politically correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you thought, yeah, right, so I see what you mean. So you'd had that throughout your career and you thought, yeah, I'd had enough? Yeah, basically, you know, to, to become, you know, to get to the highest level in anything really, mm. uh, football especially, you have to dedicate your life to it and uh, that's what I did from day one. I knew exactly what I wanted to be and... Uh, At what age do you reckon? What age do you think you went, right, that's me, I'm here, I'm doing as soon it? As, I was, as soon as I could walk, really. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I just, you know, my dad took me to the local club, Melbourne, yeah. Melbourne Knights, Melbourne Croatia at the time and yeah. uh, I just fell in love with it and, and I was one of those kids who... You know, I used to wait for, you know, every single day I'd take the ball, I'd, I'd play by myself and then I'd wait for my dad to come out and I'd make him play, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. As, soon as, you could, as soon as he could walk, by the way, I should mention, he didn't start walking until he was 11. <laughs> <laughs> just took it easy. Funny, it I, easy. I, clearly, I cl clearly remember a conversation I had with your dad at Ellen Road at Leeds in about 2003 yeah. and I asked him, I said, when did you know that, uh, that Mark was a player? And he, he basically said, he said, when he was, he, he literally, he, you weren't joking, he said, when you were that little, when you were just started walking, he said, I reckon he's got it. So, you, wow. you, 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 that's what your I dad said. every dad says that, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, I never, and I also never forget the wonderful words your dad said. I said, you must be very proud of your son. He goes, I'm proud of all my children. That's wow. what he said to yeah. me. But so is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I was going to ask, I'm surprised you didn't carry on with your legal career. You know, oh, because last, yeah, time, last time we right, caught up in, right, uh, in the right. Cup Fever in 2010, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you were doing this show. That's right, um, right. What you are about to witness is real. The litigants are not actors. Both parties will have their cases settled here before Judge Dukes. Very nice with Judge Dukes. Thank you, bailiff. All be seated. He's tough. Objection, Judge Dukes. How could you see from there? Objection overall. Yet compassionate. He didn't train hard enough. That's why I didn't select him. Nothing wrong with that. And he always gets to the bottom of the facts. Let me get this straight. You're saying it wasn't handball? He kicked the ball, so I stuck my chest out to stop the goal. No one knows the law. <laughs> like Judge Dukes. He's always had it in for me. Order in my court. Judge Dukes has reached a decision. I rule for the defendant. It was offside. Judge Dukes. Oh, yeah. Where's that? Great show. That's a great show. Can we talk? Uh, Santa, you want to talk about a, a recent game? Well, yeah. Did you see Croatia versus Italy during the week? 
Uh, I didn't see it, but I heard the result. Well, look, yeah. a, a great goal by Italy, but that's Candreva scoring in the 10th ten, minute. And uh, sensational goal by... Rakitic? The, no, 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 no Peris, uh, Peris. Peris, is it? Peris, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, bad, bad keeping TV. by uh, uh, Buffon. But uh, the game had to be stopped for about 20 minutes, Mark. Now, I don't know whether this happens a lot in Europe, but uh, the flares started coming out and things started getting really bad up in the, uh, uh, up in the terraces. And they actually had to stop the game because they physically couldn't see. There was uh, oh, wow. so yeah. much smoke. And I'm, I'm sure you've probably seen some of did that. Did you ever kind of see thing. that in, like, uh, when you were playing in Croatia, in, like, yeah. in local games? In, did yeah, you ever that's get... a normal. If it's a, we used to play derby, derby games. I played for Dinamo Zagreb yeah. against Hajduk Split, and yeah. the whole stand was filled like that. You know, wow. so. Unfortunately, but that... that's not a, that's not a good thing. I mean, they... it's not a great thing. No, no, and no. unfortunately, it's not an isolated incident. It does no. happen in Australia. For instance, at Bentley Greens a couple of yeah. weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> great with the Savlaki smoke coming out of the stand. <laughs> I mean, really, I the Savlaki smoke. I mean, yeah, they, 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 couldn't, they couldn't play because the, the players smelt like garlic. Yeah. They, they, they couldn't play. Now, you've played all over the world. Have you ever been blinded by Savlaki smoke? <laughs> no. No, I never have. <laughs> Uh, I prefer that. Can, can, I ask, can I ask? Can I ask? You, of course, the, we're playing the Japan team. Mm. You still keep an eye on the on the soccer. To be honest, I don't have Foxtel, so I don't really. <laughs> watch that much hey, Foxtel, can you hook Sorry, up, dude? Guys. Come on, man. <laughs> Me up. Him a box. I think we should we should take it off nutmeg and give it to. Uh, yeah, give it to I, I think you're right. So not a bit. So your weekend, your weekends aren't, aren't spent like us watching football, are they? Yeah. You've seen enough football, haven't you? Well, it's funny, people always ask me that as well. I mean, I love football and I'm always going to love football, but uh, this thing's still creaking. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you, know what's great, you know what's great about this is that the first time we, we spoke to you on uh, our old show, Cup Fever, the mic, you didn't have a mic. And yeah. so uh, I remember a, a lady was like kind of <laughs> ran with a karaoke mic, like crawling it, yeah, yeah. across the thing and handing you a mic. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, we don't like to make things easy for you. <laughs> Right, no, but, look, but just very quickly on Australia, because I mean, you were part of what we call the golden generation, which was, I guess, just people playing Play reg regularly mm -hmm. in good sides. Fighting hard. Is this just a cycle that we're going through at the moment that we have to rebuild? Or, what, in your mind, is there anything simple that we can do uh, moving forward? I honestly think that uh, we're going to have some big problems uh -huh. going forward, and uh -huh. we're, we're already starting to see. I mean, after Timmy, Timmy goes, yeah. it's going to be hard to. Uh, because we're not producing top quality players anymore. And in terms of leaders, it's interesting too. We forget Lucas Neal. Leaders, 60 leaders. Cap he, he was captain 60 times. Exactly. Um, so it looks like Yedinak, though, doesn't he? Captain of an yeah. EPL side, it looks like he's probably the guy to take he is, over. He is, but if you look at, you know, uh, even before that, well, if you, you know, with this A-League, it's everything's great. I mean, it's a great league and we've got the, the top bit, we've got the showcase. Mm, yeah. But we've, there's a big gap between the juniors and getting there. Right. Yeah. You know, whereas before, all... All, all the old NSL clubs, they had that whole setup well, going. You, you, know? you applied your trade here. I mean, That's the it. NSL is your breeding. You know, we, we, not, not only did we, did we create uh, those clubs, created uh, you know, top players to play in, in big leagues, they also uh, created uh, skillful players as mm. well. You know, players, you know, number 10s. And people tough, are... playing against tough kind of guys. That's big right. guys with elbows That's wanted to right. get people out the way, yeah. That's right. Interesting. All right, well, Mark Verdugo, right. we could talk all night, but we do need to let you go. Ladies and gentlemen, can you please take the great man? <laughs> <laughs> We're back right after this. Kevin Muskett's coming up to talk more soccer moves. Thanks, guys.